In Pittsburgh, the Powers family is doing something they never thought they'd have to do in May. They're setting up their irrigation system because the fields are bone dry. If you dig down three or four inches, you still don't find any moisture. The Powers grow strawberries and vegetables like sweet corn and pumpkins. My dad's been farming here obviously a lot longer than I have, and this is the driest May that he's seen. Most of the crops have been planted, and now they need water. If we get some rain soon and it's consistent, we'll probably be all right, but we're in such a deficit right now that it's going to take uh, quite a bit of rain to make up for that. And what's kind of ironic about this whole situation is that last year they didn't have to use this irrigation system at all. The rain was was uh, just about perfect last year. Every few days we get a little shower here or a little shower there. The powers aren't the only ones struggling. Those who grow flowers, even homeowners are hauling out the sprinklers. Not having the water available for the plant to develop you're just going to have, uh, you know, problems down the road. Greg Frank of Ted Collins Tree and Landscape says lawns need one to two inches of water a week. At this time of year, because the, the grass is so tender, if you don't start to water, build it back up again, you're going to have some problems. Now he's the one that covers his corn.